Welcome to a new series I am starting. This series talks about the games I played during the last month, as well as my thoughts and opinions on these games. Prey is one of those games that were hidden behind bigger games. Prey is truly a masterclass of a game, and one that I'm sad not many people know about. In Prey, you have to survive living on the space station called Talos-1. However, these creatures known as Typhons travel the space station while trying to kill you. This requires you to use the weapons you have gained. However, you have limited ammo to use before needing to go and craft some more. This requires you to think strategically, as the Typhons also have various weaknesses and immunities. The game implements sci-fi features such as the ones you would see in movies, but the horror aspect of it comes from jump scares and the uneasiness of being watched. Overall, I will give the game a solid 8 out of 10. It is truly a great game, and I don't want to say anything more or else I might spoil the game. If you haven't had it spoiled, or if it seems like a game you would like, I highly recommend playing it now. Moving on, the other game I played is Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. While it isn't like the other FNAF games, it is still a great game on its own. It combines the old idea of the FNAF games with the new game standards, making it good, but not like the old FNAF games. Security Breach has very few mechanics and a few frustrating scenes in the game, but it is still a good stealth-like game. I don't have much to say about this as I haven't played much of Security Breach before the month ended, but as I'm playing it through March, it seems to still be great. Uh, the final game I played, and the game that took up most of the month, is Tom Clancy's Wildlands. Wildlands is a great spec ops FPS shooter with a great story and amazing game mechanics. The story centers around a drug cartel called the Santa Blanca Cartel, with the head boss being El Sueño. The game provides a great way of being able to stealth through the entire game, but also provides a way to go in with guns blazing. This game has definitely turned out to be one of my most favorite games of this year, maybe even of all time. I am truly thinking about buying the extra DLC levels for more gameplay, as the game is just that good. As you may tell with this video, I am trying out new editing styles and new video types. If you couldn't tell, I've been using an AI voice generator to provide audio support. As I try new styles and new videos, you should see a huge increase in quality with my videos. Hopefully, this will increase your chances of smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and considered subscribing. The next video I make like this should be better and maybe a little longer.